healthcare is still hot. God Almighty, it's hot. And the uh, 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 corona aside, are you in high margin businesses? Are they big gross margins? Or? Oh, well, I think we are not in the high, mar high margin businesses. Uh, so uh, our average uh, mar margin uh, ratio is uh, from 10 to 15%. Mm -hmm. That's the average. Of course, in, uh, in telemedicine and in IT, it can be higher. Uh, but uh, in the um, healthcare provider business, it's it's usually uh, this. Mm -hmm. This is also not very good for uh, QLA um, because it's uh, easy to fuck up. But um, yeah, but I think it's uh, healthcare is a very very good business for QLA. And, oh, absolutely. And um, these hard times, such as uh, Corona times and now war times, uh, these are I think very good for uh, QLA. And uh, because these are tough times and uh, QLA gives you a, a very tough mindset and, and this is very helpful. And, and we can prosper in these days too. Well, see, uh, uh, speaking of prospering, over uh, earlier this year uh, when you got co uh, corona and you couldn't attend uh, yeah. uh, like you're attending now, um, you were sitting in your new house, okay? So you live in a, a new house. And uh, I'm sure you've, uh, even from before that, uh, you're uh, getting new cars. And you know, money's not everything, but it's the only thing anybody keeps track of. And uh, to keep you yourself incentivized, I mean, you buy stuff. And uh, the uh, some of the stuff, now he's reasonably mature. He's not like some of my 20-year-old kids that go fucking nuts. And, and, you know. I've just bought a new house. <laughs> for, um, not the, <laughs> yeah. Not house. that one, not that one. Uh, no, okay. Uh, a new one. And now it's a 600 square meter uh, house. It's quite uh, good. And uh, we are renovating and uh, refurbishing. So my wife uh, okay. does it and she enjoys it very much. Uh, of course, uh, money is, is a good thing and, uh, well, we, <laughs> and you can enjoy it uh, a lot. But uh, I think, uh, what is better than money is, uh, is to be productive, to be successful, to add value. Um, these, are, these are very, very good things. And I'm very happy that I can uh, live a life, a whole life. Um, I have a great family and, uh, and I, I'm, I'm a businessman. I like what I do and I'm very, very grateful. Uh, and, and as you pointed out uh, in the uh, last webinar, uh, and you like being respected, in your yeah. industry, yeah. Uh, and uh, you didn't, these are my words, these aren't your words, that you you know all the shakers and movers in, in the yeah. country, uh, from politics all the way down to, to business, and that's a good feeling, and it's a good feeling. But now, in today's language, it's, you know, the add value. Uh, back in the 80s and 90s, no, they weren't talking about adding value. The only thing you were worried about is adding money in your pocket, okay? But now they talk about adding value. Uh, because we've evolved, uh, uh, hopefully, uh, better as a, as a species. But um, the uh, healthcare, even if you do it wrong, you're adding value for somebody, not just yourself. And, uh, and so a lot of the kids uh, uh, use healthcare. And it's, it's universally, almost from A to Z, you can find something to roll up, okay? Uh, and there's a lot of individual uh, ownership, and a lot of guys and gals have done uh, super uh, with healthcare. Um, the uh, one of the few that didn't do healthcare was Simon Bell, who you know uh, yeah. used to be 440 pounds. Now he's down to a slim 300 pounds, um, but he's they all, he's the odd man out, so to speak, because he's doing energy. Of course, now energy vis-a-vis -vis what's happening in Russia sees how important that is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, and uh, whether you agree with Putin and the things he's doing, which I pretty much don't, but uh, that's neither here nor there, this is one man's opinion, is that um, what will come from this ugly thing in Ukraine, uh, in Russia, is all the people that took energy for granted. Okay? And you can't take it for granted. And uh, the uh, uh, so they're going to sell more solar panels for a while, and there'll be more wind farms. But at the bottom, end of the day, um, the uh, there's still a lot of hydrocarbons in the ground. And uh, Russia, as big as it is, when you look at a map, 
I mean, Christ Almighty is all at the top of the world, is Russia. And so, you know, they're in a strength position. And interesting, we were talking before we got on camera. He's got a, you've got a border with Ukraine. Yeah. Uh, and what's the other border? Uh, we have uh, Slovakia uh, huh. and uh, Romania, uh, Yugoslav or former Yugoslavian countries, uh, Serbia, Croatia, Slovenia, and uh, Austria. Yeah. So yeah, we have a direct border to yeah, uh, yeah. Ukraine, and we experience uh, a lot of people are uh, immigrating and fleeing from Ukraine, more than 500,000 people. Mm -hmm. So it is sad, and um, I hope the war is going to end soon. Uh, but we'll, see. well the, um, having been a young officer during NATO time back in the 60s, uh, when there was an Iron Curtain, and when they called, they're going to uh, invoke Article 5, uh, and that's when NATO gets involved. It's not so easy to invoke Article 5. It used to be, and I don't know if it still is, it has to be a unanimous vote. And there's always somebody in NATO that will not vote for it. So, you know, whether uh, NATO gets involved or not. Uh, but um, I hope I'm wrong. But the, the only way that I see um, Putin winning is to use a small nuclear device uh, and hope that NATO doesn't get involved. Um, but um, uh, they seem to show the same um, prisoners in the same newsreel from a month that the prisoners... Uh, you know, that are turning themselves in uh, and uh, going over from Ukraine uh, to the Russian camps uh, because they're, they've lost a uh, battle, uh, et cetera. And, uh, but I hope that ends because there's a lot of hardship. Um, and, uh, but what, when this is over, somebody is going to be all right to do business again in Russia. And it's good. Exactly. Oh, that's right. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. But, uh, the, what, what, looking back now for six years, about six years, almost six years, uh, what was the hardest part of QLA for you? Um, the steps are easy. Uh, everybody, a 14-year-old can read it and understand it uh, intellectually. But emotionally, I think for me, emotionally was the hardest to do all the things what QLA and you uh, suggested to do. Um, because uh, our... Special, my default was uh, very far from the required um, mentality, what, what QLA uh, tells us. And uh, yeah, it was hard emotionally. And I think uh, most of the people um, who attended the seminars fail at that point because they give up too early. Correct. And they, uh, they cannot keep the focus after a lot of failures. And, um, and whoever can uh, keep focused to be... Uh, keep the focus on the program and on, on the goals uh, they set, um, it's, it's easy to be successful with, that, with this program. But of course, emotionally, it's very hard. I say that the people that stay focused the longest win. Yeah, and it, but the, uh, the, the speed bumps that you go over seem like Mount Everest. Uh, and it's hard. And I, uh, even though it's a long, long time ago for me, I remember uh, when the things get fucked up and go sideways, and it's, it's not easy. Uh, well, then, did you find any of the program easy? Uh, any part of the program easy? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, to smell the leather, <laughs> that was easy for me, this part. And the guns <laughs> and the cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The cars. Um, yeah, I remember I went to a Porsche dealership, Correct. and uh, I, I applied for a test drive. And after that, I was invited for all test events uh, for Porsche. It was a very good opportunity to experience that milieu. Uh, but after uh, they saw I only ate the free canopies <laughs> and I don't buy any Porsches, they just threw me out uh, of the program. But uh, anyway, so such things, uh, there are fun parts of the program too. Uh, but uh, the hardest part w was uh, for me to mm, be accepted uh, by, uh, by people, by um, highly ranked people. Uh, or for, for me, uh, that time, those people were uh, very high uh, because uh, I was uh, no one at that time. When I started, so I made uh, 30 grand a year. I was an entrepreneur, wrote um, EU grant applications. I had a very small company and I did some other small businesses but um, this is not comparable 
comparable what I do now. Um, so f uh, to get from there uh, <laughs> to here, it's a uh, it's big, uh, it's, it's a big thing. Yeah. And, the, it, and it is, and the, uh, it's, uh, fortunately we have a lot more successes than we did 20 years ago. And we have uh, a lot more super successes than we had in years gone by. Of course, we have a lot of people out there doing it now. <coughs> and, and, and the fact that um, uh, the material, I got an email a few weeks ago. When, you, when you're dead, Mr. Pena, are you still going to have all your material free online? I hadn't really even thought of it. I hadn't really thought of it. Um, but uh, as, as of now, I still plan on having it free online, even when I'm not here. My trust, my children and grandchildren may not decide that, but as far as I'm concerned now, it's going to be free online. But it's in the hands of literally uh, uh, millions of people now. But uh, again, 99% of the people that have benefited from QLA, I've never met, okay? Uh, it's still that, you know, uh, point... 1% uh, that uh, I've met uh, that have come to a seminar of uh, one form or another. Uh, but uh, it's, it's extremely gratifying. Uh, we just had a, a guy, um, after four years, did a deal, finally. I didn't give up on him, but I almost gave up on him. And, and, but uh, the, uh, it's, it's, it's quite unusual. We just had a, a minister from uh, Arkansas or someplace. Uh, and uh, he, he came to the seminar, he saved all his pennies for five or six years, came to the seminar, and we were in the one-on-one, -on -one. and he said, what, you know, what was the primary reason why he came? He says, my son came home from soccer and said, Daddy, why do we live in such a small house? And he said, uh, well, before he could answer, the kid said, doesn't God pay well? And he says, it was like a knife in his heart, you know? And so then, but he just did his first deal. Uh, $2.8 million uh, home health deal. Uh, and his, uh, and in his agenda, first thing he's going to do is buy a bigger house. He's not going to wait because he wants to be able to show the last three years to his little kids, God, God pays well enough, but this pays better. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, a lot of people want to be uh, successful. And a lot of people approach me and they contact me on LinkedIn and on I don't know, and uh, wrote me an email that helped uh, them to be successful. And sometimes I accept the invitation I, and I have a chat with them on, on, on some uh, Zoom or something like that. And uh, they all, I ask them, uh, how bad do you want it? Because mm -hmm. that's, uh, you need a very uh, big motivation and uh, you have to be determined and obsessed uh, to do that. Correct. Because otherwise, everybody wants to be successful. Everybody wants to be wealthy. But uh, not everybody's able and wants to do the sacrifices. Correct. What, what is needed. And um, yeah, and that's where a lot of people fail. And uh, they just pretend <laughs> to be um, working on, on their future and success. Yeah, I mean, if you're not willing to uh, pay the price to action, and uh, that is, um, it varies from case to case, but it's spending less time with your family, spending less time on fun things and uh, almost exclusively all your time on uh, the processes and procedures and systems that are put in uh, 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 now all free online. Um, the, uh, the 24 people that are just going to start showing up in a couple hours here for the seminar, uh, I read their files again last night. There's only two people that have a similar reason why they're coming, only two. The other 22 all have different reasons, all kinds of reasons. Um, the, um, and we have, you know, uh, from uh, former professional athletes to, uh, you know, school teachers. Uh, it's, uh, but it's how bad you want it. And I remember there was a comment in the first webinar you did, you know, it's, uh, you're going to do this or die. Okay. Yeah. I remember that well. And uh, the, uh, fortunately for the program, not too many people die. Fortunately, we've had a few, unfortunately, that have passed away. Uh, but uh, I'm positive that uh, QLA had nothing to do with that. Uh, but uh, uh, what final to the QLA bots that, uh, that follow the uh, QLA uh, Godfather series, 
what final comments or uh, uh, not necessarily inspirational, uh, but uh, comments would you give them uh, for them to go forward with? Yeah, we are living in hard times now. And if you want to prosper in these hard times, and uh, if you want to do something with your future, then take QLA seriously and be really focused and um, work on it very, very hard. Otherwise, it's no point in, in watching the videos on YouTube uh, or yeah, reading the stuff if you are not determined. And if you, but if you really, really want it, uh, you can do it. Everybody can uh, be successful with QLA if you are feel focused enough and, um, and really do everything for it. So that's what I... Well, on those uh, uh, lasting words from one of our uh, Hall of Fame superstars, I thank you very much for coming, okay? And we'll see you tonight at dinner. Thank you.